so uh, we are going to see about uh, four question and answers in deployment angular deployment topic okay so uh, moving on to the first question before building uh, answering the questions i would like to explain the project i will be using for uh, answering the questions in deployment angular deployment so this is a simple uh, angular project okay if i i have served that project and you will be able to see this is the simple project whatever you see this is the output on this project displays okay when i try to access it using localhost 4200 so let me move on to the questions so i didn't keep this uh, project very uh, complex so that uh, this is just for understanding deployment okay this example so uh, how to deploy an angular application so for deploying angular application first you have to build it okay even when you do ng serve it builds it but it builds it to main.js and it puts it into in its own webpack dev server okay ng serve also it tries to build and it tries to put that package in the this development web server which the angular cli has by default so if you see here in the ng serve also builds so you can see the bundle file this is the bundle file it uh, and it puts the bundle file into that uh, distribution and send it uh, and deploys the webpack dev server but we are not able to see that main.js in our project anywhere that is not displayed that is concealed from us basically but uh, when we want to deploy for production we want to have that bundle file with us so that we can put it into our own server maybe tomcat server or node server for that we have to build it we should have that bundle file so to have that bundle file what we have to do is we have to run something called ng build so this will use in webpack it will build the application <coughs> The webpack config file it uses also is concealed from us so it builds okay using the default configuration for webpack it starts with index.html and moves across whatever is required so when we do ng build right it builds the application and puts it into, into distribution let's wait for it to load okay for it to build now it has uh, completed building the project for us now the bundle should be available inside distribution so that's why this is where it will create the bundle file so i just oh, i will open it the explorer so inside distribution you will see the bundle file this is the bundle file and uh, inside this you will uh, um, see the this is all the files required for the application to run okay and the main bundle file which has all the development code is this main es2015.js so this will contain all our bundles which i have written okay and one thing you will notice here that it is not minified okay but for production we used to minify so that its uh, performance improves the size uh, improves okay but this is not minified okay so uh, if i want to deploy it into any server what i will do i will copy this and put it in the uh, tomcat web app maybe or node server you put it uh, inside um, you copy this folder to node server and make this folder as static for deploying it so you can use this bundle for deploying your application i will explain you how we can deploy node server as a last question okay so this is about deployment how to deploy this will create the bundle file and you have to use this bundle file in any server you want to deploy next question how to en enable minification in the bundle you have to use something called build production when you build it in this manner it will also minify the files let me do that prod if i do it like this it will minify also the bundle so the 
file size will reduce. Let us wait for it to complete bundling. Now it has completed bundling. Let us go to the distribution file. Okay. Let's see whether it is uh, minified. Okay, let me open this file, Reveal in Explorer, and I go into that file. And you can see many files is reduced here. And let me go to this file, the main file. You can see it is completely minified. Okay, it has reduced all the spaces, right? And it reduces. And it also does many uh, things, the prod, when you run it with prod, we will see it in the next question, okay? You can see it, how minified it has made it, okay? So this is, this should be used when we do for production. So it, the performance improves and uh, unnecessary calls also gets reduced, okay? So this is about minification, you have to run it with prod. And what does ng build prod do? It done, does a couple of things. It does AOT compilations. It pre compiles the Angular component templates, deploys it in production mode, and concatenates into a few bundles. It also reduces the files. Okay. It minifies this VC. Adlification is rewrites the code to use short and cryptic variable. And it reduces all the, also the red code. Whatever code is not used, that also is reduced. It removes the unreferenced modules and many unused code. So these are the things the ng build prod does. Okay. So this may be a very important question. The last question is how to deploy to node server. To deploy to a node server, what we have to do is we will just copy this distribution, right? We, uh, the distri inside distribution, we have the bundle file. Just copy this bundle file. And I have a node server for uh, a simple node server, which I will be showing hosting in. So let me go to the node. So I have uh, written a simple file, simple file for serving the bundle. So let me delete whatever is present. And I will copy this bundle. Okay. And I will also open this Node.js for you to see. Actually, we open folder, Node, Node, Angular Hosting. So uh, this is the simple server I wrote. It has some, some around 10 lines, which is just uses Express to serve the web files, uh, to start the web server. Okay. So I have already pasted the my app for, for inside this folder. So the, uh, the, web, the Express web server, what it has to do, it has to use this folder and serve whatever is being present in that folder. Okay, for doing that, what I have to do is, I have to edit this as my app 4. I have to make this static. Okay, you have to add something called app.use express.static my app 4. Once you add it, it will start <coughs> deploying the bundle. Okay, the node server will start deploying the bundle. And whenever a root comes, it will redirect to this bundle. Okay, whenever you put a localhost 8082, it will go to this bundle route. That is, it will start routing the index.html. Okay, let me start this server also. Maybe I will go to node server, node, angular hoisting, and just start this server. And it has started in 8082. Here also you should be able to see the application now. Since we have deployed it in a node server. This is what you saw it in localhost 4200. Let me open the node server now. Localhost 8082. That's where it is running. And you do that also. You should be able to see the application. 
and here you see the application so we have successfully deployed our angular application into a node server likewise we can do it for any server tomcat server or any other server thank you guys don't forget to subscribe to get my future videos thank you have a nice day